What is up, legends? This is Levi from Bayfoils, and we are here today in Marin County. We're having an extra special video today. I got Danny from Just Foil LA. He flew up here for a special event. We're going to be taking out the Flightboard airs under the Golden Gate Bridge to really put them through the paces. A lot of people on the internet are saying, oh, inflatable boards aren't really as high performance as hard boards, and we're going to totally disprove that belief. So before we get into the video, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and let's go. Send it. You. So it turns out the audio from this section of the video was totally corrupted. So I'm just going to voice over what I said, and hopefully you get the same kind of vibe. Sorry. Now, obviously, the bridge needs no introduction, but we're going to talk a little bit about the Golden Gate Strait, which is the path of water that connects the San Francisco Bay to the Pacific Ocean. This strait has its own hi colorful history that predates the building of the bridge. And, you know, due to a number of reasons, is one of the most difficult places to navigate on the water in the Bay Area or California coast. The main reason being that it's the only real break in the California coastal mountain range, and so it acts as a big wind tunnel. When the inland temperatures rise, the coast stays relatively cool, which creates a pressure variance which just sucks a lot of air in towards the bay. This means the Golden Gate Strait is almost always windy every afternoon in the summertime. This makes for some epic sailing and kiteboarding, but it also makes it kind of dangerous because it brings a lot of wave and swell. You know, today you'll see in the video, it was easily 25 knots gusting while we were on the water. The other reason it gets super dangerous under the bridge is because the water gets super deep in comparison to the water in the bay. Believe it or not, the water in the bay is not super deep. It has an average depth of only about 15 feet, and with tide changes, it can go as low as 5 feet. When you get to the Golden Gate Strait, however, it gets super deep. It drops off very rapidly, around 375 feet. This can cause a lot of eddies, whirlpools, and even head-high waves depending on which way the tide is coming and how windy it is. When the tide is coming in or out, it can really affect how the water hits that valley. This makes it treacherous for all sorts of craft, even large boats. The Golden Gate Strait is no stranger to shipwrecks. In fact, there's been over a hundred shipwrecks recorded in the Golden Gate Strait. The other thing that makes flightboarding kind of dangerous under the Golden Gate Bridge is the fact that it is a very popular shipping route. Many boats come in and out of the Golden Gate Strait on the daily, and it serves as one of the largest ports of call for a lot of cruise ships and also container ships. Dan and I are both experienced riders and we have a chase boat with us in the event that we need to rescue for this filming. So please don't attempt any of this on your own without the proper equipment or experience. If you really do want to get out on the water, please let us know. We can, we're can we more than happy to provide safety support for you. By the way, this is recording. Oh, nice. But it's just going to be B-roll. What's up, guys? Dan here from Just Foil. We're up in the Bay Area right now with our friends over at Bayfoil. Say what's up, Levi. What's up, Levi? Oh, there he is. Is this a uh, live? Yeah. Oh, okay. And this is Alex. Eee. And look what we're building here. These really attractive Flightboard airs. Hey man. Hey, they match, they match, they match, they match the bridge. They match the bridge, okay? No, dude, that's too many colors, bro. Keep it off. I'm telling you, you're gonna Five ruin minutes, it. Bro. But what do you mean the board is that? That's the point. <laughs> the point is just to be so bright, like that when you when you put it in like a thumbnail, it, it like just pops out of the piece, like pops on the screen. I thought I said that he he's zero class. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
<laughs> Zero class, all sass. Zero class. We're recording? We're recording. What's up, baby? <laughs> I don't know, man. For an inflatable, it's pretty fucking sick. So, not that I'm an, a wind expert or anything, but I'd say it's certifiably nuking right now. Yes. It's probably 20, 20 <laughs> gusts of 30. We don't have a lot of wind, like, swell, because it's slack right now, but you feel the wind. And, and look, we can barely, like, sit here with just drifting into each other. We both wiped out once, but that wasn't the barn. That was user <laughs> error. Yeah, that's this... amazing part, because like, the mind fucking joint, oh, I'm an inflatable, so you overthink it, right? You think it'd be bouncy, but no, you can touch down on this board. I touched down and I I fell touched in, out, no problem. but Danny here, he was touching down on the pro, back up on the board. This thing is unbelievably awesome. To so all the haters that don't believe the inflatable is legit, you're wrong. Come out and demo one. Try one of these. <laughs> Try one out. Try it before you shoot it. Let's do another ride. Let's get it.